this is Renee and welcome to my own little world. It is time for another K-pop journal with me video and I know that I don't really K-pop journal a lot as you can see. <laughs> my last spread is literally my last K-pop journal with me video but I decided to pick it up more in 2021 and here I am just organizing everything I need and pizza. <laughs> I know that it doesn't make any sense whatsoever right now, but I promise that in the end of this spread it will make sense. And let's just start cutting. And after cutting the pizzas, I am going to figure out where I'm going to place them on my spread. And once I'm happy with it, I will, of course, stick them to the page. And because my journal doesn't open flat, I have to cut in the middle. And the last time I used the scalpel, it was... A big mistake as you can see so we're going to learn from that mistake and I decided to cut it this time just with scissors and mark down where it needed to be cut <laughs> Of course, I am doing the same for the other pizza as well. And after sticking the pizzas to the page, I know that's a weird sentence to say, but hey. After sticking them to the page, it's time to cut off the excess paper that's sticking out. And you might be thinking, what is she going to do with pizza? Is she going to make a spread about food? 
Nope. I already did another kind of playlist journal spread for the first half of 2020 and I decided to make a different kind of layout for the rest of 2020 and this is going to be a spread about the music that I listened to last year. And I know that it doesn't make sense right now, but in my head it did <laughs> for some reason. I don't know how e I don't even know how I came up with this idea, but my idea was to put all of the different album covers on the pizza like they were kind of small pepperonis <laughs> so it would look like they were part of the pizza. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details about the music that I listened to because I already did a music kind of video before. Like one of my latest videos is about my favorite K-pop albums of 2020. But I would like to mention something about the different songs that I listened to. There are a lot of different albums that I kept going back to, even though some of them didn't even come out in 2020. Like Love Poem is an album that I just kept on listening to. I also listened to The Story of Light by Shiny a lot, like the all three of the albums. And I also listened to different new artists, or at least, well, they are new, but I just recently discovered them. Uh, for instance, I really fell in love with the artists Alina Baraz, Eloise, I think that's how you pronounce her name, and Elaine Kim. They really have nice voices and I really fell in love with their music. And I also listened a lot to Sam Kim and Super M, which is, I know they're pretty popular, but I didn't necessarily listen to their music a lot until my friend Denny suggested the album Super One to me. And I know that I mentioned this album in one of my latest videos where I talked about my favorite K-pop albums of 2020. I did mention the album Super One. And since this video came out, I actually bought the album. And uh, I've been listening to it non-stop uh, on my CD player, so I really enjoyed it. Another song that I really like, that I listened to a lot during last year was the official soundtrack by Lee Sora from the K-drama Encounter. I really love that song. And I also really love the collaboration between Vasa and Boogie with the song In the Fall. I, ugh, I'm so in love with that song. And a lot of these album covers are of course what you would expect from me. I mean, there's BTS, there is Dreamcatcher, there's GOT7, there is Vasa, there's IU, and uh, of course some Dutch artists as well. For instance, uh, Nas is there, and I discovered her during my only physical concert of 2020. I discovered her because she was at the concert of Melanie Martinez that I went to in February. And I fell in love with her music immediately. She has such a cool voice and she's a Dutch singer-songwriter and she does sing in English. Like her whole music is in English, so I definitely recommend her to anyone. And of course, I listened a lot to the new album of Ilse de Lange. I have been a fan of her for years and uh, I will probably still be a fan uh, for many years to come. So she's also a Dutch artist and she also sings in English. She has more of a country Rudy vibe, if you could call it that. But she also does some pop music as well. She likes to change things up with every album that she creates, so.
and the lettering I kept pretty simple. I went with the colors red and yellow because I thought that it would suit nicely with the colors of the pizza. And I decided to call this spread a slice of Renee's 2020 playlist because you also have a slice of pizza. I know that it's <laughs> pretty lame, but <laughs> I thought it would be funny. And for this spread, I decided to not write anything down. I wanted it to be a kind of a visual spread instead of actually journaling and writing stuff down. Because I thought that writing things would take away the message of what I was going for. But I do have to add a date, of course. And after that, I will add it to my index as well. And then it's time for the end result. I think that it's a nice overview of the albums that I listened to the most last year. And that's it basically. I hope you liked this video. Stay hydrated, stay tuned, and until my next video... Bye!